One South Texas professor teaches his students a lot more than painting. His newest work leaves them considering the meaning beyond the canvas. Eyewitness News border correspondent Oscar Margain has the story. Go ahead and take a seat, guys. You're not our majors, but one day you may find yourself in some type of social setting. And just by looking at the media that the artist used, by being able to identify the media, you'll understand the process. In today's lecture, if you are excited about this artist's work, South Texas we'll College Professor Luis Corpus is giving students another reason to appreciate like art. These are the ones I've finished so far. And show his students where he got his inspiration for this number. When I saw you guys, I thought this, you know what, that's, that's what these guys are. Portraits of unfamiliar people with familiar faces. They embody that, that part of our community that is young, the youth, that is vibrant, highly intelligent, that are driven. Sketched in an unconventional way. This media is used to make these drawings. What kind of media is that? Charcoal. Charcoal. Es carbon. And so I've branched out. By burning branches of native mesquite and using water from the Rio Grande River, Corpus is trying to tell them something that it's not just material, it's material that defines us, that has been a part of our ancestors, that has been part of the DACA recipients. Wait, DACA recipients? Can you tell who's a DACA recipient just by looking at these faces? No. That's what a lot of these, a lot of these guys are. Before Corpus explained whose faces he drew and why he was using materials from the border, no one knew that some of the subjects were people brought by their parents illegally as children and who have been shielded from deportation through the now rescinded DACA program. These kids that have been here in the United States since they were little babies, man, since they were little kids, I mean, they'll stand up every single day and they'll put their hand on their hearts and they'll recite that Pledge of Allegiance. Corpus plans to display a complete version of this untitled project locally in November, portraits that are already resonating with his first critics. By seeing this, well, yes, like, I do feel for them. Everyone should know at least a little bit about everywhere to understand each other better. And if there's one thing that Corpus seeks to teach this group of non-art majors... There's more meaning behind these pictures than just a drawing. It's just that. In Rio Grande City, Oscar Margain reporting.